Welcome back to EPM Org. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and peaceful week on your journey with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to worship your everlasting love. A love so strong that you gave your only begotten Son for our sins. Lord Jesus, watch over our family, our church family, our friends, our community, our great state and country, and most of all, the planet that you created for us, Lord. Be in our presence today. And touch someone's heart, Lord, that is in desperate need to feel your love and presence today. As we lift our hands to you today, Lord, embrace our worship to you on this very day. For there is no other God greater than you. For this we pray today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray today. Amen. Today, we are going to continue our short mini-series titled, Keep Asking, Keep Seeking, Keep Knocking, and Keep Going. Each and every one of us keeps knocking at the next door, hoping that the next door answers all of our prayers, all of our ambitions, in the hopes to find happiness and our place in the world. Today, let's first start by talking about Keep Knocking. Now, the last two weeks, we've covered Keep Asking and Keep Seeking. Now today, we're going to talk about keep knocking. For it is written in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. Knock, and it will open to you. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Now in the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 20. It states, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. Can you imagine that? When Jesus Christ comes knocking at your door and you answer, Jesus Christ and he comes into your house and dines with you and you with him for in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 through 14 we find the narrow way and entering by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it. But because the narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. For we must choose the narrow gate, and walk the narrow way. For Jesus Christ knows that the narrow gate is difficult, but it leads the way. It leads the way in which life has been planned out for you by Him, by our Father in Heaven, Jesus Christ. For you see, He chose you before you were ever born. Jesus Christ laid out the plan of the narrow way for each and every one of us. And even though the narrow way can be difficult, it is the way in which 
leads to life. And in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 12 through 20, Sonship through the Spirit. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put the depth, the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And for you do not receive the Spirit of bondage again to fear, but you receive the Spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father, the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if the children of God, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. And if indeed we suffer from Him, that we may also be glorified together. Matt Woodley said once, God wants to use you as you. And in Matthew 24, verses 36 through 46, no one knows the day of the hour, but of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so as so will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will come the Son of Man be. And then two men will be in the field, and one will be taken away, and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, and one will be taken, and the other will left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. And therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Are you a man or a woman who will be taken to heaven? Or are you one that will be left behind? For there is no day better than today to change your future and be taken to heaven instead of left behind. For you see, there are only two classes of mankind. There are the sinners and the saints, the wicked or the righteous, the unbelievers or the believers, the foolish or the wise, the ungodly or the godly, the children of the world or the children of the kingdom, those who live are for after flesh and those who live for the Spirit, the unsaved and the saved. We must not fear. And Daniel, hold us back. We must keep going. No matter how stuck you feel, no matter how bad things are right now, no matter how many days you spent crying, no matter how hopeless and depressed you feel, no matter how many days you spent wishing things were different, no matter how many days you wish for your life to be over, I promise you won't feel this way forever. 
So today is a day no better than any other day. Today, choose Jesus Christ. Throw the flesh away and live accordingly to the Spirit today. Accept the Holy Spirit into your heart. Repent your sins. Be baptized in immersion and wash away the old you and become a new life today. And let the Holy Ghost fall upon you and speak in other tongues that only you and Jesus Christ know what's going on. Be in the Spirit today. Live for our Father in Heaven. Live for our Abba, our Father, for we and every one of us are children of God. Keep knocking. Keep knocking on Jesus' door. And I promise you that Jesus Christ will come knocking back. Until next time, God bless.